It's Winnie's Day, and this is Winnie the Pooh Storybook Collection. A Portrait of Friendship Piglet painted pictures of everything in the Hundred Acre Wood. He painted the tall, leafy trees, and the bright yellow sun, and flowers of every size and color. One day, Piglet decided he wanted to paint what he loved best of all in the wood, his friends. Piglet asked Pooh, Rabbit, Kanga, Roo, and the rest of his friends if they would each sit for a portrait. I'd be honored, said Pooh. Everyone else felt the same way. The next day, Piglet set up his studio outside in the sunshine. He was ready to begin with Pooh. Piglet soon saw Pooh heading his way, but he walked right by. Pooh, wait, cried Piglet. It's time to sit for your portrait. Oh, is that now? Pooh asked. I thought it was time to fill up my honey pot and my tummy. Pooh didn't want to let down his friend. All right, Piglet, he said. You can paint my picture now. I am sure my tummy can wait, he added, though he was not at all certain. Now try to sit still, Pooh, Piglet said. Pooh did, but his tummy did not. It rumbled to the left and it rumbled to the right. Finally, Pooh's tummy rumbled him up onto his feet. Rumble, rumble. Sorry, Piglet, but perhaps now is not a good time to sit still after all, said Pooh, as he picked up his honey pot and followed his tummy. Piglet tried painting Rabbit next. He worked for a few minutes, then gave Rabbit a bunch of carrots to hold. These remind me of my garden, said Rabbit, jumping up. And my garden reminds me that I have work to do. I'm sorry, Piglet, but we'll have to finish another time. Rabbit hurried off. Tigger had no trouble with Piglet painting his picture. The trouble was all Piglet's, since Tigger couldn't stop bouncing with excitement. Sorry, Piglet, but bouncing is what Tiggers do best, Tigger cried. While well, Piglet waited for Tigger to stop bouncing, Kanga and Roo arrived. They were excited to have their family portrait painted. But Tigger was so excited to see Roo, he snatched up his little buddy and the two bounced off into the wood. Piglet had much better luck with Eeyore, who sat as still and as gray as a rock. Eeyore, yours is the only portrait I've been able to finish, said Piglet. That's too bad, said Eeyore. Everyone else had too much to do, said Piglet. I'm just doing what I always do, too. Not much, said Eeyore. Then he lumbered off to do not much somewhere else. Piglet thought for a moment. That's it, he cried. I need to paint my friends doing what they always do. Piglet packed up his art supplies and went to find Pooh. He painted Pooh following a bee. <laughs> then he painted several bees following Pooh. Piglet especially liked the painting he did of Pooh finally getting a smackerel of honey. Piglet went to Rabbit's garden next. Instead of asking Rabbit to stay still, he stood and painted while his subject moved about in his garden. He painted several wonderful scenes of Rabbit at work. 
As for Tigger, it gave Piglet a bit of a headache to follow his bouncing with his eyes, but he finally managed to paint Tigger's portrait. Thump. Piglet couldn't wait to show everyone his portraits. He invited his friends to view them. Pooh and the others walked around and looked at one painting after another. They were very silent, which was unusual. Piglet began to worry. Did his friends not like his artwork? Finally, Pooh cleared his throat. <clears throat> I'd like to say how wonderful your paintings are, Piglet. Then he looked thoughtful. I'd also like to apologize. Whatever for, Pooh? asked Piglet. For saying I'd sit still for you, and then, well, not sitting still, said Pooh. Everyone else agreed with Pooh. Everyone except Eeyore. Thank you, Piglet said. But sitting still isn't what anybody does best. He looked at Eeyore. Except Eeyore, that is. Piglet continued. Everyone is good at something different. My paintings show you all doing the something you love best. And they will always remind me, he added, of how lucky I am to have so many unique and wonderful friends.